here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I am extra super de duper excited to be checking out the most popular project on all of Kickstarter right now. That is the bags and play mats for board games from BoardGameTables.com's new colors, new sizes, ships in March. And uh, it's already raised $39,000. It just launched, I think, an hour or so ago. And the first thing I want to mention is I have a board game tables bag and it is my favorite board game bag by a mile. And I've talked to a lot of people at conventions whenever I see them with big bags and I'm like, oh, what kind of bag is this? What do you think about their bags? I'm always asking for input. And by far, their bags, just everybody seems to love them. Have not heard of this one. Oh my gosh. If you go to a board game convention, there's a very good chance you're going to see uh, <laughs> tons of these bags. So I'm excited. Not to mention... They, be, they didn't beat around the bush. They told me exactly what I'm getting. Hey, this is bags and playmats for board games. Hard stop. Colorful new looks. Uh, I, I just I just like it. I like the window shopping. As a gamer, I'm intrigued. New colors. So it's already raised $40,000. As always, when I go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. More shapes, more sizes, board game bags, and more new colors. size oh this is oh my gosh this is a big play mat this is almost going too fast stitch edges water resistant five move no slick something in three new colors oh it's a cube bag wrap around handles 20 zip this too fast ship is oh okay i liked that video but at the same time i did not like that video i wish it was like I felt like it was too fast. I wanted to consume all the goodness you were showing me, but it was just like, do, 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 do. blink and you miss it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I think maybe just an extra five, ten seconds here, just to, just to let people, uh, just, still, I'm excited about the bags. I'm excited about what they're showing off. Uh, and then 17 created, 86 backed. We got one, two, three, four people in the customer service. Awesome, which means that we should have some good customer service here. Uh, previous projects, Dandelions and Psychic Peaster, Jasper Machular Shelves, The Factory Fun, Bear Raid, and Ghosts of Christmas, and then it was canceled, and then Kabuto Asumo, which I do know is out. So I'm assuming, uh, so right now we're just checking to make sure this isn't a flaming dumpster fire. I don't think this one is out yet. Hello, is it possible to make uh, updates? Happy New Year! From the year old, we have submitted the final production files of the bear. So that one is not out. So they have one outstanding game. The modular shelves. I can't imagine these have shipped out. Let me check. Where's the uh, updates? Okay, here we go. Updated timeline. There's some ripple effects from the factory shutdowns in Vietnam caused by COVID. Our manufacturing partners say they can ship us so production samples. So that one's still out as well. And then we have these. This, this is three separate games. Address change deadlines. First off, hello. The first priority in our list is getting to these games to you. Global logistics is to be a nightmare and has caused some further delays to your deliveries. It's simple. It's a simply very hard to predict timelines right now. As mentioned in our previous update, everything left the printer over a month ago. Historically, that would mean everything would have arrived at our warehouses and fulfillment centers by now, but it has not. So that one is not out yet, but they're hoping in early February. Okay. So it looks like most likely that is, and I know this one is up. So it looks like they have three, actually, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six outstanding products. That's a lot, but I don't, it, it, I still feel comfortable with the Can You Do It. This is, they have, I just feel comfortable with the Can You Do It. They have a huge uh, section at conventions, typically. They have a lot of things that they just continually sell. Like, because they're not, What's different about board game tables as opposed to, say, like a typical board game company is a board game company has to stay afloat with games. And that's why so many companies are trying to move to things that don't ever go out of style, like dice and minis and this and that, because an evergreen game is really hard to come by. Uh, so do you can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. I'm going to give it a check mark. Do I want it? Yes, thought the video was fast. And then how much is it? The price right down here. I love this Kickstarter so far. Like, it's given me everything I need to know right from the jump. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Beautiful. $59, premium board game bag, four new colors, holds seven ticket-to-ride size games. Look at that. You broke it down so simply for me. I now know how much that can hold. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Beautiful. $59. That's the same price as a board game. I, it's totally comfortable. Heavy duty play mats. Small, medium, large. Five colors and three sizes. So I would like to know what those sizes are. Could we get that information maybe right here? That'd be useful. Uh, heavy duty play mats. Oh, that's all right. So versatile, lightweight bags. Three new colors. Holds four Ticket to Rise side games. Or, as they showed in the example, five, plus they probably maybe got one squeezed in there. Okay, oh, they do. They got it right there. Squeezed in there. So, I, I like these shots. And this is a $7. Oh, my. Come on. That $7 throw-in bag? That's great. I think I saw these guys at Pax Unplugged. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you. Their bags, they are everywhere. Uh, and they're, they're, because they're great bags. Lightning fast shipping. Ships in March Four dollars United States, nine dollars to Europe and Canada. Holy guacamole! This Kickstarter, it I love. It's just straight to the damn point. Like we want you in and out as quick as possible. At least you're giving me all the information as quick as possible, and I love that. Everything I need to know, I already know. Four dollars, so sixty-three dollars to ship me this bag. Assuming I'm in the United States, which most people typically are, but I love how well they handled that. I imagine, yeah, forty. Well, forty-five in Canada. That's not, that's still great. Because that's, that's within the first few hours. So, really well done start to this Kickstarter. I am just in love. But the, aside from being a little too fast and not showing me the, the exact sizes of the small, medium, large here. Excellent. Uh, free lightweight bag when you purchase a play mat and a premium bag. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. This is so great. This is a fun shopping area. I'm going through your shipping and I say, well, whoa, this is such great shipping. You know what? I'm just going to go buy a play mat. Because you know what? I really could use a play mat. You know, that, that's, that's, mm. These products make your gaming life easy. Board game bags and play mats have been getting more and more popular because gamers like you have found them to be really, really useful. They sell out at convention after convention. Fact. Uh, it's fun to see how different their booth looks. From the beginning of a convention to the end of the convention. Because literally, uh, like, everything is just, like, stacked to the ceiling almost. As high as they can get it with these giant bags. And they just start, they start dwindling down until there's, like, nothing. Uh, board Game Tables has become the go-to standard for high-quality bags and playmats. Your supporters encourage us to launch this Kickstarter with brand new colors and sizes that give you the perfect opportunity to be the first to get our newest board game accessories, premium bags. Holds more games than you could probably play in a day. Padded to protect these games. Reinforced to hold 65 pounds. Hate trying to get your fingernails under a card to pick it up. This fixes that. The play mat, five millimeters thick, uh, size to cover the whole table from small fold out to full dining tables. Four new colors, and that's that's hot. That blue bag is so hot. Uh, the most popular board game bag is now available in four new colors. Five years ago, the idea of a board game bag, and then oh look at this shot! Oh, the shot is so good. Look at so many. There's so many games. <sighs> I could just watch this all day. This is so beautiful. I love that shot. These are the best ways to carry board games. Quack a low. Premium bag in royal blue. I agree. I agree. Features. Water resistant. Oh, that's nice. Perfect size for 12 by 12. Padded on all six sides to protect your games. Heavy due to zipper. Second part for small games or notebooks. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful shot. Padded. Adjustable back strap flaps. Clear ID tag holder. Reinforced seams. Zoom in on the seams. That's what I'm talking about. You're going you're gonna to try and sell me on those seams. You zoom in, zoom in on those seams. And they did. Rubber feet prevent fabric wear. Excellent. You no doubt find these bags are incredibly functional, durable, and comfortable. They're designed down to the smallest detail and will be ready to handle just about anything you can throw at them. Asterisks, please do not throw spears, axes, knives, or other sharp objects at the bag for the safety of the bag, its contents, and your own well-being. They're made to carry board games, but their size and the streak makes them great for transporting pretty much anything you can put inside. Folded and unfolded, that's a great shot right there too. Oh my goodness, it's just icing on the cake. I don't even need anything else. This is all just a fun joyride right now until I give them my money. I know the shipping, I know the price, I know if I want it. This is all just gravy. This is fantastic. Love it. That being said, only thing I'm not seeing here <clears throat> is a reason to come back to the Kickstarter. Which means it might have some issues in the back end on the popularity. So, gotta keep my eyes open, see if there's something that keeps me coming back to the Kickstarter. But this is so good. And there, there's not always an easy thing to do. Oh my gosh, are these, oh, are those stretch goals? Are those stretch goals? Are there, what are those stars? What are those stars? All these fabrics with delightful textures that help define the luxury of every bag. Uh, 
When we picked out the fabric, we made sure that nothing was plain boring color. Each shade has unique characteristics. Why are there stars here? If we have stretch goals, I feel like we should know about the stretch goals. We are funded. Like, yeah, maybe you get down to the business that you got first, but like stretch goals, like this is so, overall though. This is such a great look at this full inches and centimeters. Mwah! Weight capacity. Like this is great. This is fantastic. This is what I want to see on Amazon. Like when I'm looking for a bag, it's like this is this is spectacular. Testimonials. Yes, we're obviously proud of our board game bags, but don't just take our word for it. Check our Amazon reviews and some of the insights from your favorite board game YouTubers. 4.9 out of 5 with 254. Uh, the bag feels solid and looks great, but I expect nothing less from BoardGameTables.com. We fit 51 bags in there. We use them every week. We love these bags. It's done a great job at doing yes. These are all going to be spectacular. I'm sure I have a video on these bags as well. I'm sure there's a fantastic quote in there as well because they're just spectacular bags. Playmats. Five colors, three sizes. The playmat is... And so this is the one thing. I still have not found out the size of the playmats. And I'm sure it's in here. Uh, but that's the only thing that I need to know still. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's beautiful. Because that's what I got. I got a 4 by 10 table. Uh, I'm pretty... No, it's not 4 by 10 It's 4... We fit 10 I don't remember. My buddy and I made it. We did a video on that too. That was a bad video. <laughs> Extra thick padding. No slip rubber backing. Extra thick padding. Uh, insert edge sticking. Just great. Just great. So there's the three sizes. What are they? And boom. Three by five by five by five. Three by five, two by five by four. Awesome. Excellent. The colors. Cool. And once again, are these stretch goals? What are these? What are the stars? Carrying case. Every playback comes with a carrying case design. Oh, this is spectacular. I didn't even know that was there. Like, this is so hot. I almost feel like this should be a little bit higher. Knowing that that comes with the playmat. I think the sizes of the playmats, and I think knowing that you get a free carrying case. Beautiful. Because did we know that? I don't think... We'll go back up and we'll check that. But I don't think we knew that. And I think that is just banger information to just let people know. So easy to slide around cards and tiles. Highly recommended. So now they're talking about all that. Excellent. And now we got the new lightweight bags. Three new colors. That's a hot color. I like that color. Small grocery bags aren't built for games. The proportions aren't right for bags to fit comfortably. No lids means everything falls out in the car. Yep, we've all had that problem. This is a special bag that will solve that issue. And I love it. Water-resistant fabric, littered lid, zippered lid. This is great. And all oh, folds down. Like, this is just fantastic marketing. This is what I, I love this Kickstarter page. It's just a fun ride to go on. Pledge tiers. Important. Note, you must complete the post-pledge survey and state your color preference to guarantee your choice. So, uh, lightweight bag, $7, $2, $3, $4. Whoa! Yeah, so here's... So here's my other thing. I feel like this should have been on that main image up there. Like, when we... when we Like, cause did we even learn about this $118 pledge level from the jump? I do, I get, I want to kind of go back and check that. Oh, yeah, I can just do it like this. Yeah, I want to see. Because the shopping section, where was it? It was early. Here we go, here we go, here we go. $59, and then this, and then that. So that's the shopping section. And I think that's a little bit of a misstep, because, okay, so I see this, I want this, period. I see this, and I say, ooh, I could use that. And then I see this and say, oh, that's awesome, I want that as well. But then I see that one that's the good deal, the one that was down there. Uh, that we, we were just looking at this one right here, like $118 starting at $118. I get a new play mat. I get, uh, the bag and I get that bag and I get a cover for this. And presumably I get pretty cheap shipping. I don't think it's going to be $4. It said $4, but is this, so now I have one question. Uh, so I do need to know a little bit more about the shipping. Hopefully we'll get down to that. Made for board gamers. Satisfaction guaranteed ships in March, 2022. All products ship quick after the Kickstarter bag comparison. Okay, premium, standard, lightweight. Oh. So what are these stars? Uh, 65, fabric, woven. You're giving me the breakdown and everything. Standard bags are available in the add-on section. Shipping. Do not pay for the shipping now. We charge after. So first item, each additional item is free. Oh my gosh. Oh my good golly. That is some absolutely banging shipping. How did you wizard craft this? This is beautiful. Uh, the music was catchy. This is a good... So, customs friendly shipping. Are you going to get jacked by the VAT? U.S. State of the Pledge Directors Campaign will be collecting sales taxes in these states. So, you're going to have to pay for the sales tax at the end. Uh, let's see. Rest of the world, no tax will be collected. No GST will be collected. So, it looks like a pretty comprehensive shipping area. It looks like some great shipping prices right there. 
ding 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 timeline 2015 a little bit about you and we are out all right so let's take a look at the pledge level see how they are distributed i'm very curious to see so seven dollars 141 people took this just wanted that bag interesting so that's eleven dollars for the bag i think that's a reasonable price you know assume, presuming you're going to use that a lot hi hi i have to know that also how on earth this career world can they ship that for free or even four dollars i don't know $59. So this is the premium bag. I think this is going to be the most popular one, but I hope it's the really good one. Quote, the the whale. Because I think that's such a fantastic whale. $118 or something like that, plus the $4 shipping. So you're looking at $122 for a new playmat, a new bag, and uh, two new bags, pretty much. And these are premium bags. This is kind of, a, you, you feel like the bag, like the bag looks awesome. 164 so no good sanity will prevail play mats 138 then this is going to be the most popular one no it's 129 so i think that's i think that's i think that might be something to look into i really do think that that's a misstep on because i loved the beginning of this kickstarter because it it got down to business here's the price of the bag here's the price of this here's the price of that here's the price of the shipping boom but there was more information that i think could have really been conveyed you know, so I think maybe, essentially, I, I think it was kind of odd to lead off. Maybe you lead off with this, $7, and then you get the $59, and then you get the playmat, and then you get the big one where you get everything for $118, and it has a nice, sexy picture, and they say $122 shipped anywhere in the United States of America, and people are done. Just, just they throw you the money. So I think this is just a case of maybe putting that really nice uh, pledge level that you presumably want them to take uh, a little bit not giving it enough love i think you could use the mats for jigsaw you could i never would never shall never have never will i want a premium bag how do i choose my color preference which size play mat will fit the jasper is the play mat washable okay not too much here but solid i guess uh i was like organization in there but no biggie no updates yet it just launched today I was really hoping to see a square play mat in the size that could top cards slash kitchen tables not all tables are rectangular this seems to be uh no way to order two of the smaller bags. Gifts are always good. Also, there's not a color available to match my premium bag. No gray or orange. Tisk tisk. The Kickstarter add-on screen should let you change the quantity of your add-ons. Tisk tisk. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit rough. <laughs> I mean, I know you're a super backer, uh, Paulson, but this that's a bit harsh. You're going hard in the paint there. Maybe maybe turn it down. Turn it down a notch. <laughs> Once you get your play mat, you're just a pair of scissors and five minutes away from owning a square mat. But seriously, we'll consider. <laughs> Oh my god, you're telling him to cut it with scissors. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Once again, just a pair of scissors. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a half point grade. That's that's some half point grade right there. I love that. Bump up. <laughs> I want a second. I want a second through my fat mat, which looks to be the medium size. That was the small last time, right? Would it cause any issues to add ten dollars to my pledge now, or do you really want us to wait till the pledge manager? I'm excited for this. I don't have anything to take my games with. I've started taking. So, yeah. And, and what I'm seeing here is some great customer service. They're popping in here. They're responding to everything. And overall, final grade for this one. Do I want it? Yes. But I wanted it before I came into the Kickstarter page. So I need to try and take my rose-colored glasses off and just analyze it from that perspective of someone who wants it. I thought the video was a bit fast. But I still wanted to know more after the video. And you did not beat around the bush. I see here 17 created 86 back. And I'm like, okay, I feel super comfortable with the can you do it. 99% of people see that. They say, okay, we're good. No worries. All right. So then we get straight down to the price. And I'm like, great. This is getting straight down to the price. Okay. This is the marquee item right here. This is what the marquee item is. This $59 bag. You know how I know this is the marquee item? Because you put them out of order to spotlight this one up at the top because in 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 my brain it should be seven dollars would come before the 59 dollars because the seven dollars comes before the 59 dollars over here but you wanted to spotlight this bag so much because once again this is your board game tables you're doing a board game bag this is the big star of the show then we get to the play mat and i say oh i that play mat is really nice too those are great i'd like to see the size here and then you show me this bag and then you show me amazing shipping, and you also throw in the fact that, whoa, if I get a, per a play mat and a premium bag, then I get the free lightweight bag. But I think that sounded cool to me, but I want the pledge, like, I want to see the $118 one, like, dolled up right here, where it's just, you get the play mat, you get the bag, you get this bag, and it's $4 shipping. 
Like that, $122 in and out the door. And I don't think that message was conveyed well enough until we got down to forever and ever. And this, this there and here, this is free. You get a play mat, this is free. I think that should be spotlighted as well. Forever and ever and ever and ever. And there we go. That, I think that needs to be hot higher. Like this is just kind of a weird area to throw in the play, like... Because I think this is what you want people to go for, and I think this is what people would go for. But overall, though, I still think that's uh, that's that's nitpicking what is overall a very, very awesome Kickstarter that was a fun ride to go on. So I'm going with an A- minus for the bags and playmats for board games. What do you think about it? What's your final grade for the bags and playmats for board games? What'd you like? What'd you dislike? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers to celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Have a good day. Bye-bye.